Okay, a really quick one for you guys. This is a equo rectangular photo in Photoshop. Equo rectangular, always difficult to say, is one which can curl up into a ball and you can view in a 360 camera. So I could save this as it is normally, but that's not gonna work well with Spoke because Spoke has really high resource intent. So you need to have very small files. To make this image small for Spoke, just go File, Export As, you'll see some options come up. And you can see that if we went for a high quality, so the maximum quality PNG, which is really good, we're gonna get 4.9 megabytes. That's not very much in this day and age, but if you put this into Spoke and try and run with it, that's gonna cause a problem. Actually, sorry, my mistake. That is 14 megabytes, which is absolutely huge for what we're talking about here. So we're gonna to go to JPEG and take this quality right down to level one. We've gone from 14 megabytes to 234.3 kilobytes. That is absolutely tiny. The quality is not gonna be that great. It's really gonna look that good. But you know what? It's a demo, it's a vertical slice. It's giving a suggestion. Now, if you put it in and it works and everything's going fine, feel free to then bump it up to level two and try it with that. If that looks good still, bump it to level three and work upwards until it breaks and then go back again. So work out the maximum. But when I'm building something, the first time putting the image in, I always put it as the lowest quality possible just because I don't know what's happening next. I might be fine at the start, put some objects in later on, and that causes problems. I don't want to be taking up memory at the start but when I haven't designed the end. So start low, end high, and that's how to take photos from very high resolution, very high file size, down to a very small file size in Photoshop, ready for use in Mozilla Spoke.